The main cabin door is now closed and we're ready for takeoff. The destination, the Skift Aviation Forum. Happening in Dallas this November, on stage you'll hear from the CEOs of American Airlines, Southwest Airlines, and so many more. Reserve your seat today at live.skift.com. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Friday, September 20th, 2024, and now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Expedia Group CEO Ariane Gorin said at the Skift Global Forum on Thursday that some of its brands took a hit during its recently completed tech migration, writes travel technology reporter Justin Dawes. But the new CEO said Expedia, which was the least disrupted of its core brands, has done well, with growth in room nights of 20% in the second quarter. Now, Gorin is focused on getting more customers for Verbo. The tech migration could help, as Verbo and Expedia Group's brands can share inventory more easily. The company has also been adding comparison shopping features and rebuilding its group trip planning feature, among other changes. Next, JetBlue CEO Joanna Garrity acknowledged at the Skift Global Forum that she has faced numerous challenges nine months into her tenure, writes Airlines reporter Meghna Maharashi. Garrity said she doesn't see any mergers in JetBlue's future after the federal government blocked its acquisition of Spirit Airlines. JetBlue is expected to ground several of its aircraft this year due to issues with Pratt & Whitney geared turbofan engines, which, Garrity said, has been frustrating for JetBlue. That number could increase in the next two years. JetBlue announced on Thursday it would open its first ever lounges at its New York and Boston hubs as part of its plans to attract more premium travelers. Garrity maintained that JetBlue would remain a low-cost airline just one with a premiere segment. Finally, MGM Resorts is building its own Dubai Sphere, which it argues will be as compelling as the Las Vegas Sphere, writes Middle East reporter Josh Corder. CEO Bill Hornbuckle said the company's $2 billion project, which has been in flux since 2017, will include 300 seats with a mini showroom. While Dubai's iteration wouldn't be as big as the one in Las Vegas, Hornbuckle added the Emirati version would have all the typical features of a sphere. Original plans for the Dubai sphere said it would be a part of an entertainment tower located in the center of a complex with three MGM Resorts brands. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skift.com. Don't forget to follow or subscribe to this podcast wherever you're listening and help spread the word about the Skiff Daily Travel Briefing by rating us five stars or leaving us a positive review. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to at Skift News and hit that notification bell to find out whenever a new episode is released. With more than 50 articles per week, exclusive feature stories twice a month, live events, podcasts, reports, and more, Skift is the source for global travel industry news. See what we've been up to at skift.com and stay ahead with the latest insights and trends shaping the future of travel.